Hey guys, it's Jailbreakist. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone with the full version of Snowberries. Um, this um, jailbreak supports the iPhone 2G, 3G, and the iPhone 3GS with not the MC or the new boot ROM. Um, and it supports the 1G iPod Touch and the 2G. Now, I know you guys know that, um, most of you guys know that Snowbreeze, I Hate Snow, has not fully released the full version of Snowbreeze yet. But recently, I was surfing the internet, and I came upon a forum with an actual downloading for it. To my surprise, it actually was a full version of Snowbreeze, um, and it actually worked. Like, I could put custom boot logos, and I fully jailbroke my iPod Touch. And I scanned it and everything, made sure it was clean, it's all good. Um, so I'm going to give you guys this link so you can download it. And you guys are also going to need to download 3.1.2 firmware. Okay, um, and once you guys have done that, what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to need to open up the Snowbreeze folder. And you'll see Snowbreeze right there, and another little file. You're just going to click on the Snowflake, Snowbreeze, and it will open up. And it'll say Snowbreeze Light. And then you guys are going to go down to the bottom right corner and you're going to click on the blue arrow. You're going to go and select Expert Mode. Click the blue arrow again. Okay, now you guys are going to need to browse for your 3.1.2 firmware that you downloaded. So you're going to click the Browse button. Okay, in the files that come up, you guys are going to need to find your 3.1.2 firmware. So there's mine. Double click on it. And it will start to process your firmware. This should only take like 20 or 30 seconds. Okay, and once it's recognized, you'll get the green check mark and it will say done and it will show your device. Okay, um, now I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know um, whether it'll say offer you to unlock it here or in the next step we're about to do. So if it offer you offers you guys to unlock it, um, will you guys want to do that or not? That's up to you. But once you've made your decision, you're going to press the blue arrow. Okay, um, if it didn't offer you to unlock your iPhone, you're going to click on Unlocks, and I'll get to that in a sec. So, first of all, you guys are going to need to do is you're going to need to click on General, and then you're going to click the blue arrow again. And you're just going to leave it as that, and you can select whether to have the Snowbreeze iPhone app. Um, it like, gives you updates for I Hate Snow. Um, I don't want it because I found it pretty pointless. And once you've chosen whether you want it or not, um, you're going to click the blue arrow. Just leave the portion size as it is. Okay, now you guys can choose whether you want to have just Cydia or Cydia and Rock. I know I like Rock, so I'm going to choose both. And when you guys have made your decision, press the blue arrow again. And custom apps, I'm um, just going to skip this step. You guys can mess around with it, though. Okay, now you guys can choose your custom boot logo. Um, so you can either choose your recovery logo, but it has to follow the format. Um, right here, it gives you the guidelines. So you're going to click browse if you have one, but if you don't have one, you're not going to do anything. So just find your custom boot logo, there's mine, double click on it, and there you go. Um, I'm just going to leave that like that, and then you're going to click the blur once you're done. Okay, now you're going to go down... Um, to unlocks if it didn't already give you unlocks when you were doing it and you can either select whether unlock it or not and now we're ready to build the IPSW so you're gonna click build IPSW and then you're gonna click the blue arrow again okay now to start building your custom firmware that you're gonna restore your iPod or iPhone with you're gonna click start and this takes a little while so I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm done okay guys I'm back Okay, and as you guys can see, um, mine has successfully created um, my firmware, and that is the custom firmware you guys are going to be restoring your iPod or iPhone with. Okay, and once your says done and all that, and then you're going to exit out of Snowbreeze because you have no more use for it anymore. Okay, and on your de desktop, you guys will see custom firmware. Um, it'll be Snowbreeze, iPod Touch or iPhone, something like that. And that's what you guys are going to be restoring with in iTunes. So the next step for you guys is you're going to need to open up iTunes.
Okay guys, in iTunes, what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to put your cursor over restore, but do not click it yet. And on your keyboard, you guys are going to hold the shift key, and then you're going to left click on restore. Okay, a bunch of files are going to come up. So now you guys are going to need to find your custom um, firmware that we made in Snowbreeze. Okay, once you guys have found it, you're going to double click on it and your iPod or iPhone will start to restore. And this process can take a little while, so I'm going to come back to you guys when it is done. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, once your iPod touch or iPhone has finished restoring, um, it is done. It's jailbroken. Okay, and just to prove it to you guys that I actually um, followed through and jailbroke mine and all that stuff, as you guys can see, I'm on 3.1.2, and here's my iPod with City and Rock on it. And I'm just going to show you guys a custom boot logo right now. There you go. And that's pretty much it. As you guys can see, it's jailbroken. So enjoy your jailbroken device. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Um, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.